Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. Today we are on 11.4.2. I'm going to do my downtown loop test. So this is going to be pretty interesting and I'm very excited about this one. Uh, I've been driving 11.4.2 for a while. Come on, you can do this. You can get out of this parking. No, oh, it's, it's probably waiting for, nice, it's waiting for the pedestrian. No. Okay, I'm going to give it a tap. Yeah, when well, you can do it. Uh, it's a little bit, a touch, a little bit close to that car, but it, it did it after a tap. So yeah, last time I did this test with 11.3.6, uh, I got two disengagements and I got around seven interventions, something like that. So uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. Um, I did change one of my last waypoints. Let's see if those. Oh, so those pedestrians are crossing right now. You can see them on the screen. It's clear on the right. Okay, so now it's not clear anymore. There are cars. Oh, and we're stopping in the middle of the intersection. Uh, yeah, disengagement number one. So yeah, this um, maneuver over there. I'm gonna bump down my speed over here to 30. Um, just cause there's a lot of traffic. So the, the 30 is gonna come in, in play soon, I think, but it doesn't, I don't know where's the sign. I actually either missed the sign or, oh, it's a little bit too bumpy here. It's gonna wait for, oh. <laughs> this is, this is turning out to be, it's getting too close to that car. Wow, okay. I did not expect to see a lot of pedestrians coming out of, or kids coming out of school right now. This is pretty intense. Yeah. There's a police car as well. A lot of traffic. Someone's coming out of the car. Wonder what's gonna happen here. Whoa, and uh, really cutting across there. FSD, waiting for this pedestrian to cross. Okay, that's actually it's doing okay after I stopped just because of that. Uh, and it should go over here. I'm not sure what's it waiting for. Okay, here we go. Another kid. Incorrect uh, proceeding on the for pedestrian and not stopping for pedestrian. Let's see how it goes over here. Let me slow down a bit again. So actually, fun fact, I did get a a, a fine just going over 30. <laughs> just And it was also because of FSD. So I'm going to be a little bit more extra stringent whenever there's um, a school zone or whatever, 30 kilometer speed and it doesn't detect it, I'm going to disengage immediately after that. Okay, it's going to do this maneuver very nicely. We waited at the right moment. Excellent, very good. So yeah, we're stopping here for a traffic light and then there's a right turn coming up soon. So if you haven't done yet, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me a lot. I've been getting a lot of views on my 11.4.2 videos. So I'm very, I'm very gracious for that. Thanks over everyone who's supporting me and liking my videos. And please continue to do so. And uh, yeah, there's more upcoming uh, FSD beta videos. I'm going to do a, a double lane or multi-lane roundabout test soon. And that's going to be super interesting as well. We'll see if there's any improvements there. So yeah, but for now, stay tuned and watch my downtown test. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so yeah, it's stopping here very abrupt stop so I'm pushing it through a lot of interventions so far it's not looking very good all right this is another difficult turn that we're coming up to should uh, get a little bit closer there's a bike coming by a cyclist and it should be clear right now I'm gonna give it a tap here just because okay now the pedestrian is walking so yeah 
on for seating now. Okay, so yeah, I'm not really gonna count that, but I did push it through just because there's cars behind me and they're kind of impatient, and uh, that pedestrian was kind of on and off on uh, whether they need to cross or not. So yeah, you can just let me in the comments below if that was a good thing that I did or I didn't uh, or I shouldn't uh, intervene there. Uh, thanks everyone. I'll be interested. I'm interested to to know other folks views as well because I'd like to I'd like to change the way I, I'm driving with FSD but I'm not open to that it's not because I'm driving so it's uh because FSD is driving so yeah stay tuned over here we've got another few turns and then we're, we should be turning left because we're supposed to turn left over here but the road's closed it's changing lanes and it's saying it's blocked it's a blocked path I think it's clear to go to the left hand side over here and it does it very nicely love that love the way it just avoided that blocked path and went around it and still did the left turn very smoothly and very happy with that performance to be honest good job FSD I like the early signaling it indicates and shows the intention of the car so I'm happy with that uh, it should be able to squeeze its way around here. Let's see if it does that. Come on, you can do it. Yes, here we go. And we saw the neural net just changing its uh, its uh, occupancy or the occupancy network path changing immediately. And ooh, all right. And now we have a left turn coming up, and it's the doing the lane changes properly now. Very interesting. It usually used to pick the first lane and the left uh, and the or the first two lanes and then go through under the bridge on the other side which caused us an issue when we had to do the left turn coming up but uh, with the new update they've there looks like they're really stringent on lane selection and it kind of like changed lanes instantly it didn't feel natural but it helps because we're now on the right path to take a left turn that's coming up soon Excellent. I've never been on the left-hand side so early on for this left turn. This is awesome. Okay, so it's coming up over here. It should be able to do this left turn. It's kind of creeping into the right-hand side just to check for visibility. Excellent maneuver. I'm very happy with this drive so far. This is really spot on. Now that car is stopping over there, so we should be able to proceed. It doesn't doesn't want to for some reason. I'm I'm gonna give it a push. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> the guy's a little bit angry with me. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! What is what is up with that <laughs> with that truck with that bus? <laughs> that looks funny. <laughs> Never seen that before. <laughs> OFSD to hit continue trip for our last waypoint and engage back FSD again. So it's clear. Another left turn over here. It's a protected one, so we're also in the clear. Eh, getting a little bit too close to that pavement there. I don't want to end up with a curb rash. So, too close to the pavement might end up damaging wheels. It's cutting really close to the edge of that corner. Okay, so very interesting. We slowed down quite a bit just to do this change in lanes and the car behind me noticed that we're slowing down and they slowed down for us. So that was great. Whoa, very weird right turn over here. I've never experienced FSD do that. Now I'm not really sure why it did that. If you look at this, because the first two lanes over there also turned to the right. So I'm not really sure what was the intention behind that very interesting behavior that i'm watching i'm i'm witnessing over here with the with my usual downtown route that never actually happens um and i never even saw it in 3.6 so interesting
Okay, so it's got to turn a little bit. There is a Tesla behind me. I hope they understand that I'm using FSD over here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, catching up to this right turn over here. You can pass, lady. There she goes. And the car stopped. Excellent. She did make eye contact with me, so I was hoping that the car uh, was spotting her at that time. Very good. Very good. It's going to have to make its way all the way to the left-hand side to do a left turn. So let's see how it does that. Okay, we've got the indicator. We've got the lane change to follow route. Very good. And I'm so glad that it's not changing lanes again because there's a lot of parked cars over here. And it's detecting all of those cars. You can see the, the cars are being highlighted in blue. And there we go. And now that it's clear, it's going to change lanes. And now we can do our left turn over here with a protected green light. A little bit of hesitancy, but it does the change. And it does pick this lane for the first time. It always picks the left turning lane. Hmm, very good. I feel like that's an improvement overall. I'm adding my last waypoint over here. Coming up to the stop sign, a complete stop. And then proceeds. Very good. No complaints there. Okay, so we are arriving to our last destination over here. Let me just ch double check my waypoint here. Yeah, this is, looks good. Uh, let's proceed. Coming up to the stop sign here. This one's a little bit of a tricky one if there's cars. Yeah, so we've got a truck over there. This is going to be a tricky one because I don't know how it's going to be able to go around it. Ooh, let's see over here. Oh, wow. And it's closing its windows. The truck's passing by. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, you can proceed, buddy. You can proceed, buddy. Okay, I'm just going to give it a tap here and just get it to go. It's just a little bit too cautious, so I'm helping it a little bit. But it did that maneuver so nice. That was so tight. I've never done that before with FSD. Excellent. It normally would just like stay there and do nothing. Okay, so let's see how it does over here. It does proceed. Uh, it cuts it a little bit close. This one's this one was really good too. These close encounters with cars is actually going really well. I thought it's gonna be a shit show to be honest. Sorry for the language. It's kind of slowing down a bit here. That car is kind of overarching. And I'm going to stop for this lady and let her pass by. She wants to cross. I'm not going to count that. There's no pedestrian crosswalk, and I shouldn't really do that, but it's an old lady. And look at this, allowing that car to turn in before actually reaching the stop line. Is the stop line here? I don't think it is. We should like, okay, I'm going to tap it, let it go forward a bit. Here we go. Another intervention. Okay, so there's good things and bad things. Like, I don't know how to put it. Like, it's, some of the stuff that it's doing is surprising me. Surprising me, but I mean, like, pulling up to the stop line. That should be, okay, I'm going to give it a tap again. I'm going to give it a tap. Oh, okay, all right gonna let it go because we shouldn't really be signaling if we're going straight ahead that's the issue here all right let's put it back on again another few encounters here with uh ooh, it's getting too close to that to that bike <laughs> wow yeah, that was a safety critical disengagement. I don't understand why close encounter with motorbike parked in the side, it was going to hit it. Okay. 
another car here that comes out a little bit encroaches to the street but FSD just carries on it does see it though pedestrian crossing car stops very nicely for them and then goes ahead yeah so a lot of good scenarios and a lot of bad things but I mean that, that was a very super interesting drive I was really really pleased to to test that uh, the encounters with the pedestrians and uh, the tight four-way stop sign that was really good I did have to help it in the end but it was really good Now it's creeping forward for visibility. Whoa, a little bit of a rush there. And yeah. Not checking for visibility before a turn. It did say it's checking for visibility, but I don't think it did. Like it was it was a dead like corner over there that you can for sure see there. You can't see what's happening because there are parked cars and it should really creep in a little bit more forward for that. I was not confident and I didn't have the visibility to check for that traffic over there. Okay, so the last interesting thing I think we have over here is a roundabout coming up soon. We'll do that and then I'll, uh, and I'll probably wrap up over there. Okay, so uh, roundabout coming up uh, now. By no means, a round of, uh, FSD is not ready for roundabouts. Here we go, stopping for pedestrian. Excellent, and now it should sail through. It shouldn't stop. It should sail through. Okay, I'm gonna give it a push here. Uh, cutting a little bit close there on one of the turns, but uh, it kind of tends to do this turn very well in the end. Cool. Very good. Very good. Yeah, uh, FSD is not ready for roundabouts. To be honest, uh, it's so spontaneous. Uh, you can't even you can't even track if it's getting better or worse. To be honest, um, that's my 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 opinion. I've heard from some folks that it's ready, but there's by no means it's not ready. Uh, all right, I've done this mistake again. Here we go. Yeah, does that stop okay? No problems. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching and um, we'll see you in the next one. But uh, but yeah, that was a super, super interesting. Um, my next test video is gonna be uh, multi-lane roundabouts. That's gonna be uh, probably, <laughs> probably like all over the place. Like the car is gonna be all over the place. So stay tuned. It's gonna be like four or five roundabouts in a row. Uh, I've done that test so many times before. I watched my previous video for 3.6 to see that, how it performed, and then we can compare it with the new one. But yeah, for the stats for this video, my last one with 3.6, it was doing, a, I think, a two disengagement and six, seven interventions. I think we're about the same kind of, it's waiting for our turn. I think it was our turn, to be honest, but yeah. Okay, that was good. So yeah, thank you folks for watching. And uh, yeah, hope you folks like this video. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.